name is Dan White, and I am, uh, over the next 14 weeks or so, I will be directing a show. Tonight is the first uh, audition, so I thought I'd walk you through the process that I do. I'm an amateur director. I taught theater for 30 years. I'm just having fun. Uh, but I thought, you know, the process might be interesting for some people. And so I thought, well, I might as well walk you through everything that I do over the uh, process. Start with this one today, and then I will post on a regular basis uh, what I am doing as we move through. So the show is called Remember Maggie. It's written by a uh, mother-son team from Sarnia. Uh, they wrote this play several years ago. I thought, well, let's document it and let's see what happens. So my plan is to record during rehearsals. We'll talk about the process of how I select people. Um, talk now a, a little bit about uh, my process in preparing to, uh, to rehearse a show. So the first thing I have to do is I have to really love the script. Uh, because if I can't connect with the script, I don't know uh, what story I want to tell. And that is all that matters in theater is what story are you telling? And if you're not telling a story that connects with your audience, it's not going to go anywhere. The first step is for me to understand the story that I want to tell. Um, so there's the intricacies of the relationships and I have uh, some surprises along the way. I try not to plan everything in advance. Uh, I, know, I know what I want. I know how I'm going to get there, but I don't know what the end result really will be because I want the, the cast to be a part of developing that story. And really my job is to guide the story so that it stays clear so that you don't have, in this case, there are four actresses, so you don't have four actresses telling four different stories that don't come together. They all have their individual stories, but they have to weave together. That's the first part of what I'm going to do. I certainly read the script again uh, several times, and the playwrights Matt and Carol Murray uh, have done a revision, just updating it a little bit. So uh, just re-familiarizing myself with the script. I've created a model of what the set will look like, just roughly so that in my mind I can go okay so here's what I need to do so that will come up when I'm talking about blocking because there will be blocking rehearsals early so what I'll do is um, I will talk about the process of uh, the rehearsals and how I do that I've noticed that I say ah a lot when I'm thinking I'm gonna try to stop that I may not Right now, the, the uh, first thing that I've done is we've, uh, my wife is my uh, producer and stage manager, and so the two of us have sat down and we've talked about what our goals are for the play, uh, how we're going to achieve those. So some of our goals would be to get sponsors and to get the word out. That, that's the first part of it, because obviously if you don't have an audience, you, uh, it's all the work that you put into a play is a waste of time. He, we've talked about that. We have some sponsors that we're going to be approaching. We're looking at local. We really want to get uh, a local feel. We want this to be supported by local community. Performing it at a small theater in Chatham, which is about half an hour away from us. It's a 500 seat theater, I believe, 450, 500 seats. The show will go on in February, and today is October the 19th, so we have auditions today and on Sunday, and then after Sunday's auditions, we will select the four ladies that will be our cast, and then we will move forward with a rehearsal schedule based on their work schedules, commitments, everything else. We will start rehearsals in early November, take a break over Christmas, but other than that, we're going three times a week two and a half hours roughly each rehearsal depending on how things go sometimes we'll need a break and we'll stop a little bit early but that's the plan uh, you have to put in that kind of time and that's not including the time that's put in outside of rehearsal memorizing lines all that kind of stuff happens before rehearsals not at rehearsal what else should i tell you we have an audition form i will say i will put a picture up of the audition form so you can see what i use um it's 
not the only model it's just what I use so I get the basic information so I get some background information and we'll refer to that later after the auditions when I'm looking at those to see who is going to be in the cast I also have created a model of the of the stage as I mentioned and I will put a picture of that up I could do one of those cool things and point to where it's going to be it would be here yeah so that's that's the start of this process and as I come up with ideas I will continue to record and update and um, we'll keep you posted all right this is episode one. Oh, should I do the you know like it thing subscribe thing yeah if you want to do it do it so you can see here I've made this out of this uh, card stock stuff kept it pretty simple Use the dimensions of the stage, and this is actually one millimeter equals one foot. So I made it to scale. Bye. <laughs>